Aboard an American Airlines flight bound for Richmond today, the plane made a safe landing at Richmond International Airport. The passengers evacuated. The FBI and a bomb-sniffing dog called in. Carolyn Pursuti was there while they searched. Carolyn? It was a long, tiring evening for all the passengers of American Airlines Flight 874. The plane arrived from Dallas at 4.30 today. The passengers were shuttled from the airplane to the airport fire station, where they were questioned about a note claiming a bomb was aboard. Four and a half hours later, the passengers were finally able to enter the terminal. Many said the last half hour of the flight was the worst. Well, they let us know about 20 minutes ahead, which they probably shouldn't have. So for, the, for about 18 to 20 minutes, we just sat waiting for it to go off. At first, everyone was a little scared. And then as time went on, we got more and more irritable. We wanted to go home. <laughs> No bomb had been found aboard this plane after agents from the FBI, FAA, and bomb-sniffing dogs searched it and every piece of luggage aboard. An FBI agent told News 6 a scribbled note had been found on a torn envelope in the bathroom. Agents surmised the note, now a prank, was probably placed there before the plane flew from Dallas to Richmond. The brief note claimed that the bomb would explode at a certain altitude, and an FBI agent I spoke with said that if that was the case, the plane would have exploded before it landed at Richmond. But as soon as the plane was checked, all the luggage was checked, the plane continued to its next destination, Norfolk, and then on to Ontario, California. Charlie? Carolyn, I know we had a lot of difficulty getting information. They said there was going to be a news conference. There wasn't. What was your experience tonight? You know, not only were we not given any official statements, but the relatives of the passengers were extremely upset tonight. And when they went to the ticket counter, they said there was a mechanical problem on board. Then they gave them a long-distance telephone number to call, and a lot of them didn't have the money to call that number. Then they said when they called home, the people at home knew what was going on because they had watched our live reports. Okay, thank you, Carolyn. Everything ended well tonight.